Hello, this video is about some advanced topics in economics and this would be useful for competitive examinations as well. This problem is based on mathematical economics where we have given an economy where two goods are sold x1 and x2 and a person's income is 20 units. It may be 20,000, 20 lakh if he's very rich. Okay, and the utility function is quasi-linear type. Now why it is called a quasi-linear type? For example, this part with respect to x1 it is linear. With respect to x2 we have a linear part and we have a non-linear part as well. Okay, now let's focus on the questions. The first question is given as x1 and x2 the price of x1 and price of x2 are equal and both equal to 1 then what is the optimal consumption bundle what is the optimum consumption bundle okay let's focus on the answer now see this function which is given is a quasi-linear function as I've already explained. Now in this quasi-linear function if we try to solve we can find the MRS and everything here. We know MRS is the is can be expressed as the utility ratios and also one thing to consider here that it is a concave function as well. Okay so as you can check, check our videos of concavity and quasi-concavity checking. So now coming to MRS which is nothing but mu x1 by mu x2. Because for optimal consumption bundle in MRS it has to be calculated. So here if you, multi if you just uh, partially differentiate, so this will give you 2 only. Okay, if you have problems in partial derivative, you have our partial derivative video on YouTube. So this is 2 and this part is 32 minus 6 x2. So we are now ending up with the MRS value. And the budget line we have that is x1 plus x2 equal to 20. That's it. Because the prices are 1, 1 each. Now solution is not at the corner x2 equal to 0. Solution is not at the corner. It's not a corner solution x2 equal to 0 because at this corner MRS 1, 2 will be 1 by 16 directly which is less than 1 that is price ratio. So remember that MRS equal to should be price ratio at the optimal case so there is no corner solution. Therefore the consumer will benefit from spending some money on x2 as well. So uh, solution is not at the corner guarantees okay the solution at the other corner at other corner solution is x2 equal to 20 x2 equal to 20 at this marginal utility of 2 what was the marginal utility 32 minus 6 x2 if you just put it this will be less than 0 at this consumption level so therefore it is beneficial to spend less on x2 so the consumer will spend less on x2 that's it hence the solution is in the interior and satisfy mrs 1 2 and we get simply by solving this so solving with respect to formation of Lagrangian I hope you know that so we just solve it you will get directly that x1 equal to 5 no, x1 will be 15, x2 equal to 5. So how to do that? If you still didn't get it, there is a small note on the Lagrangian formation. L equal to the budget line. That is 2x1 plus 32x2 minus 3x2 square plus lambda 
minus this is 20 minus x1 minus x2 that's it you just need to del l del x1 del l del x2 and del l del x lambda and just by calculating and equating with zero each time you will be able to solve it okay so now we will be going to the next question in question b they have asked suppose the price of x2 increases to 4 pre of x2 now increases to 4 not by 4 and all else remaining the same which consumption building does the agent choose now find new consumption bundle so here how to do that in the new consumption bundle for the new problem the solution is not at the corner again because at x2 equal to 0 always we will check the corner solution x2 equal to 0 mr is 1 comma 2 will be 1 by 16 that is less than 1 by 4 that is now the price ratio previously it was 1 this one time it is 1 by 4 therefore it pays to move some money to x2 solution is not at the other end and the corner that is x2 equal to 20 not at the other corner as well because at this marginal utility will be negative and no one likes a negative utility okay so therefore the solution satisfy MRS 1 comma 2 that is 1 by 4 that is the price ratio so here again by solving the previous way we will get that x1 equal to x2 equal to 4 units so in that way 4 into 4 plus 4 that is 20 will be the total income that is being consumed now there is a third part of this question that is question part c in the part c it is you know, how much extra income must the agent be given to compensate her from the increase in the price of x2 how much extra income will compensate loss of x2 in this case in order to find the extra income we just need to find x1 at which the individual will attain the same level of satisfaction as in a okay same level of satisfaction as in a with respect to prices of part b so part a satisfaction and part b's prices so here what you have to do is price ratio is what that we have to take 1 by 4 and to find x1 we will solve the following simple stick structure that is x1 2x1 32 into 4 minus 3 4 square so, so x1 is given in the last part was 15 we have already got so 2 into 15 plus okay this part is equal to this and this equal to 32 into 5 and minus 3 into 5 square so in order to maintain the same level of satisfaction this has to be done so we equate the satisfaction level in a to the satisfaction level from the bundle in which x2 equal to 4 so this is the satisfaction level with respect to the question part A and this is with respect to a bundle with x2 equal to 4 so we just solve it solving x1 you will find here 17.5 okay now we find the income needed to afford x1 equal to so what we need is we need to find the income 
square x1 equal to 17.5 and x2 we know at is 4 at prices is p of x1 is 1 remember that the price hasn't changed so this is 4 so total required income is now very easy 17.5 into 1 plus 16 So it is 33.5. So the enhancement in income is total raise in income equal to 33.5 minus 20 that is 13.5 units. Okay. So the first sum is done.